Now that you know the level that you can record, you have the movement. How to move? Well, a lot of people are moving left to right just like this. Please don't do that. When we watch that sort of video, we feel sick. It's going too fast. Basically, people do it because they just want to show as much as possible. But that's something you really need to avoid. Especially when you move like this, left to right, sometimes it looks like a slideshow, you know, slideshow of picture, just moving like that. It's quite boring and that's something people used a lot in the past. And we have to get rid of that, right? Because now we have videos and videos is immersive. It's going inside, right? So please don't be static and just moving left to right. And please try, okay, now it's getting a little bit technical, but please try to not shoot more than 90 degrees. If you want to do 180 degrees, it will be too fast for the camera. And again, we will feel sick. So try to not show everything in one shot because I see some people, they just get inside a room and they're just turning because they want to show everything they have around, right? So please try to keep in mind when you record, you don't want more than 90 degrees. If you show the, the, the entire room straight away, it would be boring just to see the next four or five seconds. So try to play with the wall, with the plant, like I told you before, and it will make the video more professional and more dynamic. And the cinematic shots I like to do the most are to move, to do a close up and move around an object. That's one of the first. Like I said, playing with the wall and discovering the room. And sometimes I like to start very high as well and play with the roof again, but this time from the top and move slowly and discover again. So you can discover from one side or from the top. So this is the kind of cinematic shots I love to do the most and that I can use unlimited of time. To be honest, we don't get bored with them. So yeah, you can play with them. And if you want to make a cinematic shot with Momento app, you will choose the standard mode and then you will choose the angle you want. Just then after that, you're just going to record, click on the red button, record the shots for four or five seconds and then stop. I think I've said it enough. How long should be a cinematic shot? I think between two, five, six seconds maximum. It's cinematic. It's smooth, slow and short. You can record your cinematic shots for two seconds as well. Um, but they have to be like close up of objects. They are not super important, but they can bring emotion. They can show something specific in the property. You can use it to show some equipment in the property or something luxury. And you know, it's like close up, a slow close up on it of two seconds, it's perfect. <laughs>